The Doppler effect arises when we have uh, the source of uh, waves and the observer uh, are moving relative to each other and uh, this is going to be seen as a difference in the actual frequency of the source and the frequency detected by the observer. So, uh, first of all, we're going to see the effect when there is a relative motion. So, shifts in the detected frequency in detected frequency during the relative motion of the source and the observer results in result in the Doppler effect <clears throat> and for sound waves uh, basically we know that these waves are uh, propagating um, in all directions with the speed of sound so that's assuming that we have a point source here uh, so I call V uh, the speed of sound V is the speed of sound uh, the source is uh, producing uh, waves at a certain wavelength so I if I measure the distance between um, two maxima or two minima basically I'm looking at the wavelength so lambda is uh, the wavelength of the source and the frequency f is uh, the source frequency and basically we know that uh, the speed of sound is lambda divided by t the period or lambda times frequency t is the period of the source okay now we're going to look at two scenarios, one in which uh, we have the source moving, the observer is stationary, and two, uh, the observer is moving, the source is stationary. Okay, so let's start this relative motion uh, of the source and observers. Now I look at the scenario of a stationary source and moving observers so what i find is that uh, basically the wavelength does not change since the source is not moving uh, however when we try to measure the speed of sound uh, with the observer we will see due to the galilean transformation that the speed of sound will will be modified so i'm looking at observer Y. The observer Y is moving with a velocity a V observer, velocity of the observer towards the source. Y is moving towards the source. So uh, the observer Y is experiencing wave, uh, waves moving with velocity V uh, towards the observer and therefore if I ask what is the speed of sound detected by observer Y, 
uh, I call this V prime uh, the sound velocity due to observer Y this is going to be V prime is equal to V plus V observer <clears throat> and this comes from Galilean transformation uh, just to remind myself what that was so if I have the earth reference frame and then I have an observe uh, another reference frame which is moving with velocity uh, v0 with respect to this reference frame and I'm reporting the position of an object this is r this is r prime and uh, in time interval t the two origins have uh, moved away from each other by v0 t r is equal to r prime plus v0 t so the velocity v in the earth reference frame is velocity v prime in the moving reference frame plus v0 when i take the time derivative so velocity v prime reported in the moving reference frame it is velocity v minus v0 so what is v the speed of sound is in v0 i hat direction what is v0 it is um, it is v i hat direction and v0 the velocity of the observer is minus v0 i hat so therefore the velocity detected by the observer y will be minus v0 plus v in i hat direction in that case so if this if this is the case if the um, observer is moving to the right and the waves are uh, are propagating to the right and the observer is moving to the left uh, so it's in minus v0 i hat <clears throat> so i'm going to see that the speed of sound detected by uh, my observer y will have increased but it, the the wavelength lambda does not change it's the same wavelength uh, we are reporting so uh, v prime the speed of sound detected by observer y will be the wavelength lambda times the frequency detected by observer y so f prime is equal to v prime divided by lambda v prime is v plus v observer and lambda is uh, v is equal to lambda times f speed of sound is wavelength times the frequency of the source so it's going to be v divided by f so i will find f times v plus v observer divided by v for the detected frequency for observer x uh, that is moving away from the source my scenario will change uh, just with a sign because I will have a detected uh, propagation speed of the waves to be uh, V minus V zero therefore this is going to affect my answer f prime is going to be f times v minus v observer divided by v so if the observer is moving towards the source the frequency of the waves uh, detected is increasing uh, if it, if the frequency f prime is greater than f we say that this is uh, blue shifted uh, and if the frequency is detected is decreasing f prime is less than f that's the case when the observer is moving away from the source uh, the spectrum is red shifted this is an optical term uh, that's used for electromagnetic waves 
Um, so you can remember this terminology when we talk about uh, Doppler shifts of uh, light, electromagnetic waves. Okay, so let's look at uh, the other scenario where I have the source is moving away from the observer. Uh, so here I can basically um, summarize this result. F prime is F V plus or minus V observer divided by V. It's uh, going to be plus when the observer is moving towards the source and minus when the observer is moving away from the source. Um, so if I look at the scenario where the observers are stationary and the source is moving towards the observer, uh, the speed of sound detected by these two observers will be the same. So let's concentrate on observer A, uh, stationary observer, the source is approaching. Now the speed of sound detected by observers A and B will be the same. So because they're not moving uh, with respect to the source, the source is moving towards them. Uh, the speed of sound detected is the same. But what does change, as you can see in the uh, in the figure here is the wavelength and why does the wavelength change so you can uh, think about this um, the wavelength lambda prime is the distance between two maxima so let's say that the source has generated uh, a maximum and by the time it generates the second maximum it has moved a distance uh, v source times the period so normally this would be uh, lambda the wavelength but because it has moved a distance v source times the period uh, in this time interval the wavelength detected by observer a seems to have decreased <clears throat> all right so this is basically lambda prime the wavelength detected by observer a is uh, lambda prime detected wavelength is lambda minus v source divided by the frequency of the uh, waves. All right, and since the speed of sound is the same, the speed of sound will be equal to lambda prime times f prime. So for lambda prime. I can put uh, V divided by F prime. For lambda, I can put V divided by F. And this is V source divided by F. V is equal to lambda F at the same time. So I have um, V divided by F prime is equal to 1 over F V minus V source. So basically I find that F prime is equal to F um, F prime is equal to F times V divided by V minus V source. So the frequency has increased. It's blue shifted. Uh, and for observer B observer B uh, the source is moving away and therefore the wavelength has increased lambda plus V source times T and the detected frequency will reflect this as a sign change it will be V divided by V plus V source times F so the fre detected frequency has decreased for observer B so we can summarize this result f prime is, prime is equal to f times v over v plus or minus v source it's plus if the source is moving away 
minus if the source is uh, approaching. Uh, we can summarize all of these results. Uh, let's do that here. Uh, we can have both the source and the observer uh, moving. So we will have F prime, the detected frequency will be F V uh, plus or minus V observer divided by V plus or minus V source. And we have the following scenarios. It's going to be F times V plus V observer divided by V plus V source. Uh, the frequency tends to increase if the observer is moving towards the source. So the source is, if the source is moving away, then the frequency tends to increase. So the source is moving away. The observer is moving towards the source. That gives me this scenario. V plus V observer divided by V plus V source. <clears throat> so let's double check. If the observer is uh, moving towards the source, that is observer Y, I have V plus V observer divided by V. Uh, so this is going to be um, an increase in the frequency. And if the source is moving away, then I have in the denominator V plus V source. Um, another example, I have F times uh, V plus V observer divided by V minus V source. And this is going to be when the source is approaching the observer and the observer is approaching the source. So both effects tend to increase the detected frequency. So uh, depending on uh, these scenarios, we can generate whichever Doppler shift formula we want. And as we have shown, if it's only the source or the observer is moving, then we have either V divided by V plus or minus V, v source. The, the plus sign is for this one when the source is moving away, moving away, and minus source is approaching. And here, the plus sign is for uh, observer approaching, and minus sign is for observer moving away from the source.